welcome back to the channel well it's been a while and uh yeah <laughs> it's honestly been a while because uh i've been working out of state a lot and we've had a few other things that we want to do upgrade wise so due to timing all right the officers love the police mm -hmm. good people so but uh honestly we've had uh a lot of work out of t out of state and a lot of a lot of the the followers have seen have seen the truck upstate new york seen it uh where oh man vermont new hampshire so we've kind of been around a little bit and they like i said it's a daily so you see it on the road all over the place but we decided to set it down for a little bit uh i'm not sure when i'm posting this video it might be might actually be in the new year by the time i post this one because i'm really gonna be waiting for a few more things to come in so that we can keep things going at a at a decent pace as opposed to me posting a video that's then the next one is a while from now but uh yeah what we noticed during some testing uh was we were lifting ahead which didn't it wasn't a major thing it's major but it wasn't in a way like for normal driving it was fine but uh whenever we turned the boost all the way up to say 25 26 pounds and did any testing we noticed that we would pressurize the coolant system so we were like we got to figure something out for that so what we decided to do was uh ooh, let me go inside it's a little cooler a little warmer so what we decided to do was uh overing the block and as i was looking because i was like all right on this engine we have about twenty thousand miles 20 25 000 miles on this motor so since we first uh got it put together so we're like well to overing it means to freshen it up at the same time but then for me it's like well i hate spending that type of money without getting something additional yeah we'd have the additional strength so we can run the higher boost but i'm greedy i'm greedy there's just no other way to do it so what we decided to do oh i guess we'll take a pause while that phone call gets answered <sighs> so yeah so part of what we decided to do we contacted manly and we figured we'd uh get a little something extra so these are actually the 3.7 Pistons. So for the 5.2 bore. So we're actually going to open the bore up to go from a 5.0 to a 5.2. These are their extreme duty pistons. Looks good. Looks good. Very good looking piston. Because, again, I'm greedy. So I want more power. <laughs> like if I'm going to do a freshen up and I'm going to do the O-ring, then I might as well get more power. So also, we caught, contacted uh, Brett Barber over at uh, Airflow Solutions. And we have some Gen 3 heads here that he did his magic on. Let's see what we got here. Not sure how well it shows everything, but yeah. These heads have been worked over. Obviously, we got some springs. Yeah, so we should get a little extra power there as well. And to help with all of that additional power, we decided to finish the installation on our coolant system. So we have a custom uh, coolant tank that's a little larger than the regular one. And we have, uh, let's see if I can get this off. I don't know if I can get it off. I don't know if I want to get it off, but I have some Dash 16 size uh, inlets and outlets to go with the bigger pump that again, Dash 16. So that's the, the big EMP pump on there. So a few little upgrades that we got going on. We got a couple more that are coming as well, but uh, they're not here yet, but that's kind of what we're doing. 
but yeah, that's kind of what we're doing. We're in the midst of doing a freshen up where I add some power. So hopefully we can pick up at least another 100 horsepower between the heads and the pistons. And actually might get a little more with a few other little tricks and uh, treats that we got coming. But that's kind of the update of what's been going on with the, with the Reaper truck. She's, uh, she's sitting around just kind of waiting for some parts to get used because the weather's for upstate, for where I've kind of been going, like the real Northeast working. She kind of sits a little low. Like, yeah, that's not drag radios or anything, but those still are a nice sporty tire. So it's not quite the same as, uh, say, my other truck, which is a little more capable for the off-roading that I'll be doing up there for work. That'll be that one. Hmm. That one's built a little, a little different. She sits a little higher, a little less likely to get stuck in the mud. So that's the one that we'll, we'll be using for the rest of the year and the beginning of next year <laughs> for work and so on. And then some of the weather breaks, we get more towards spring. This one will be done and she'll be having some fun again. See just how fast we can go. And we have a lot of interesting events that we're going to be doing that's a little different from just the standard uh, quarter mile drag strip stuff. So uh, stay tuned for that con content as it comes. And again, that's pretty much our update. Oh, and this piece would be coming back. Uh, set some records too. My buddy there, uh, Walter, he's, he's got a little animal growing there. She'll be at some events too. It's Whipple truck season right now. You figure we got mine, we got his, we got another one over there. Bunch of Mustangs too, but eh, we're here for the F-150s. <laughs> but yeah, until uh, till the next update, this is a uh, boosted F-150 out. Hope this answers uh, the questions of what's been going on with the Reaper. And what we're doing. We're getting ready to turn up for real. Mm. All right. Later. <laughs>